Hello and welcome back to the Nauseating Nurgleite. So, where were we? Um, I think we're attacking a lot of people, just gen kind of generally. We're currently at war with um, the King of Bretonia. Is the, are these his, his men or are these raiders? These are just raiders, so that doesn't matter. Uh, we're a little low on money right now. Hmm. I wonder what we could do about that. I have an idea. What we should do is, before we want to get money so we can attack these kind of people around here and uh, take over their land. What we should do is we should stick on raiding, just go raid their land, siege it entirely down, then leave, take their money, and then take it over again. And that seems like a great idea. Let's do that. So we're going to move time on a little bit. Um, also, apparently the Nurgleite's uh, gift, in case you're wondering, the um, the thing that I can do to other people. Uh, I can't do it to this one, apparently. I'm going to have to... F f right, uh... Nurgleite gift. Apparently this is an execution that you're not meant to have yet and that it's just a bug so we'll just ignore it. Uh, fear has loosened its grip on me and I stand tall against the things I used to fear. No one can t call me Craven anymore. Oh good, I don't like Craven. Craven's a bit uh, a bit rubbish. Got some a little bit better stats now. Uh, the word from the priests are clear at the moment the winds of chaos are very weak but they may grow stronger as war sickness. Uh, right, so weak uh, winds of chaos, that's fine. These guys are a different religion, right? Um, they're old, they're old gods, so that, yeah, they're a different religion, so we can siege them. Cool. And you'll see here the loot bar actually goes down, which is quite nice, that gives us a little bit more money. Um, not a lot, but a little bit. And that's all we need. Oh, we have another daughter, she is, has the great pox straight off, is quick, and is a bastard. Uh, Slanesh, ah. Now the problem is, when we have, uh, bastards who are Slanesh based, that means that they're going to, um... Well, it's obviously going to be a little bit of a problem because when they have the Great Pox, they're just going to die. So, it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, it seems my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Little Dorgrin is my spitting image. The more, the better. Welcome this little bastard to the tribe. Okay. So, she doesn't actually get our thing. Can we convert her yet? Mm, if, we're at pe if we're at peace, we could convert her if her opinion was 50. Okay, I don't know why we can't just tell our daughter what religion to follow, like, until she's old enough to choose, but whatever. We could call our vassals into uh, this war, we're not going to. Create a couple of titles, a couple of uh, special characters. Someone try to kill someone who we care about? So I was trying to kill our heir, which is um, a little unfortunate. Do we want him to die? Do we have a better secondary heir? Not really, he's not a better heir. Uh, do we have a better third heir? Maybe, yeah, our third air is brilliant, so we don't we don't care that much. Okay, so we'll just let it kinda go on. And we want to siege the whole thing down because so it gets the recently looted uh, modifier. And this means that it'll have less levy and then it'll be e it'll be quicker to uh, siege down next time. Which is why we're doing it like this. Right, anything else that I've forgotten that we needed to do? I don't think so. I think we're in a fairly alright position. All things considered. Um, I don't know. Maybe try and co convert our wife. Oh, she actually hates us for some reason. Why does she hate us? Uh, Logistimize bastards. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I understand. That's fine. So we've looted it. That means it now has the looted penalty. And it has no garrison and no levy. So when we come back home, we'll get some money. Because we've finished raiding. There we go. Once we finally make it back. Right, so we- oh, I think we get the money instantly because it's a neighbouring one. Oh, I guess you- oh no, there it is. Tribe of Anola has been looted one point, uh, one ducat. There you go, that's fine. We're now going to declare war on Anola. And we're going to declare for- which one is it? Uh, do we not have a special cast as belly? Can we not cast- do it on them? Let's try someone else, I just want to see. Ah, the Unholy Subjugation is what I was looking for. I guess we don't have that. Uh, conquest gives us moral authority and gives us the Yarldom. Subjugation... Oh, that's we can subjugate one uh, realm in our lifetime. The reason I'm not doing that is what we really want to do with a subjugation is we want to be able to take some like huge bit of land, like something like Bretonia or something. We want to just get a huge number of troops, march them somewhere they shouldn't be, and just take a large amount of land. That's what we want to do with that subjugation, which is why we're not going to do that. Um... Invasion loses us prestige before we start. I think just conquest seems fine. We'll just grab it. And now we can move in. 
they now are able to raise their troops against us because they're actually ready. Oh, are we on uh, speed two? That's why we've been moving a little bit slowly. There we go. We're, we're back at full speed. See, it's only got 65 men defending. We'd go 47% every 12 days or we can assault it. And it just instantly finishes. We are going to offer peace, enforce demands. We now hold the land. Okay, so insufficient land management. We hold too much land, right? Um, yes. Wait, as I say, it's no magic. You can only have one holding of our penalties. All right, yeah. Oh, it's because we have this holding here. We can pillage it though, and that gives us some stuff. It gives us some tech points and some uh, money. So we'll get rid of that. That now takes away the insufficient land penalty. And now clans want more land. Which clan needs the land in particular? Any clan want land? Like as a need need land uh, for grazing? And no, no clan needs land for grazing. Who's the weakest? So it'd be this guy. He's our ward as well. Um, okay, so we're going to grant him the... Oh, we also want to try and convert his religion. Can we do that right now? Or we can only adopt. We, try, we can't con demand religious conversion. But I think he will convert religion when he comes of age. Or we, somewhere in between we can do that. Uh, we're going to grant him the land a title of Anol, though. Anol. Who's Anol? Am I missing him? Wait, is this actually Anol? Oh, there it is. Right at the bottom. Perfect. Uh, lower titles. There you go. That's him all set. Nobody's uh, really caring. And we can now declare war on the next person. Is this all the land he controls? It looks like he has a fancier title. Um, yeah, it looks like it's all the land he controls. So we could do the same thing here. We could go and raid and then come back. Which is definitely a possibility. In fact, I think we're going to do that. Because that also allows us to kill his uh, special units without him able to, being able to do anything. Which I think is most of his retinue anyway. So we'll just uh, kill those. And then we get to siege down his land. We also get a little bit more money doing it this way around. Which means that we uh, can actually can carry on raiding. Okay. Um, I trust the Chancellor report success uh, the elders of clan of a uh, like me better. Which one was that? Oh, they like me, uh, Songori, sorry. Um, where are they? Oh, so it's just this person. Yeah, that's fine. You can carry on doing that. that okay. Uh, yeah. Killed their units. And now we just get to siege it down. It goes 16% every day. And we'll just wait for that to happen. We get a little bit of money from that. Uh, the small spider uh, makes my ward Aaron squeal and run for cover. This has uh, started to worry me. Oh no, no. You you have to have Craven. Definitely. Our, our, our ward and our, uh, like, one of our vassals. We definitely want him to be Craven. Because if you're Craven, you have a lower martial score, you can do less stuff. It's really just great to be to have all your vassals being Craven. Not quite as good as Content. Content means they won't act against you, I believe, so. That's pretty good. Oh, we managed to uh, get someone. Oh, you have a title. If we take you as a concubine, uh, no, we don't. I, I thought we got some prestige. It's she must not be actually from a house. Hmm. Okay, we might take her as a concubine. She's forty-two. We don't need her. As oh, it's because she's forty-two. That's why we're not getting the bonus. Um. We could execute her. It doesn't really matter. We'll just take her. Um. We'll siege. Wait. Are we still sieging? Oh, yeah. I guess they have two provinces or something? Hmm. Okay. We'll let her rot. I only know it's one province there. Maybe we already got rid of it? Oh, we were sieging it down for this clan. Oh. I'm not entirely sure I wanted to siege it down for their clan. For their clan. Doesn't seem like that's something that we. Oh! Oh, I see! That's our vassal. Oh, our vassal declared war on them while we were sieging. Ah. That's, um... Yeah, that's interesting. I, I didn't see that coming. Which vassal is it? Uh, Gokin clan. Okay, so he's now the strong, one of the stronger clans. Uh, yeah, I didn't really need that land myself anyway. So what we're going to do now... I think we need to get rid of this prisoner who we have. We actually have quite a few prisoners, actually. You can, we can get rid of them for money, so we'll definitely do that. That's step one, get rid of the ones that we can get rid of for money. 
Is it worth potentially keeping a whole bunch of these people so that we can do something with um, like a kit? Maybe we need, we can do offerings later with these people? I don't know. Oh, looks like we've lost the Bretonia War. Oh dear, I was so sure we'd won it. We were going to win that war. What was that Bretonia War for numbing? Uh, for... It's not even something that you're in, right? Right, de jure, that's part of... Oh, actually that is going to take... Is that going to take all of her land? She going to become unlanded? Possibly. Uh, no, our wife still holds um, the Gialdum of uh, Thorn. Which is over here, and it is in uh, La Marche. Okay, so that's probably going to survive a little bit longer. Right, so we're going to do the same raiding trick over here. We're going to raid these guys, and uh, we don't have a truce with them, do we? No, so this should be fine. We can just raid them, and uh, we can get a little bit of extra money. Which is really the objective of the game. Well, for us right now. If we stay positive on money, we can continually declare wars. That's what we want to do. A servant comes running at you, screaming the ground has turned into a giant mouth and started taking bites off one of your buildings. That is... expected. Hmm. Okay. Weird. Well, hopefully that means that we've got some warp near us. Oh, I didn't notice this small bit right there. It was underneath uh, this bit. So we will go there next. Um, my concubine is pregnant. Good, good. Fantastic. This is all the land this person controls, right? Yeah, it's all the land they control. So we'll siege it down for the money. We get quite a lot of money. Which is quite nice. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them. To hear the sweet screams. To see the panic in their eyes. Guards are up the rack. Yep. Let's see what happened. Nothing bad happened to her. Okay. Uh, Beast Lord Rebellion. A rabid horde of beastmen has emerged from the wilderness, threatening to spoil everything in their path. Where are they? Over here? Is this where the beastmen are? Um, that's where it says they are. I don't see any beastmen. Nope. Don't see any beastmen. They're kind of missing. Complaining, uh, we'll let her rot. That's fine. Oh, beastmen, thing's over. I guess there were no beastmen. Fantastic. Wow, what a great rebellion that was. Uh, we'll just keep them in prison. That's fine. We'll keep them all in prison. We need some prisoners for uh, stuff later, maybe. Oh, we don't need to siege that one because that one's not an actual province. Yeah, it, it has no holdings, therefore we don't need to siege it. Letter rot. I'm gonna turn off the looter tag. Uh, as you replace your training dummy with a real person, you find that facing an intelligent enemy is a lot harder, but also more rewarding. After many bruises and cuts, it's clear you've gained experience and a better control of fight than ever before. Perfect. More personal combat skill. We're in declare war, the unholy subjugation of this land. Let's head over there. Uh, we can call in our allies. Um, I mean, I suppose we might as well. No real reason not to, but. I mean, it stops them doing their own wars, which maybe that's a good reason. I don't know. Valent seems to be able to solve all your problems. Life is easier when you simply smash things into submission. Perfect. We've got Wrath. Uh, that gives us a little bit more martial skill, which uh, it helps out with a few things. It doesn't help out as much as it would if we were, say, a um, feudal person, because that gives us more levies, but it helps out. Well, it's a dangerous place. People are trying to kill my daughter. Are they? Are they actually trying to kill my daughter? Not as far as I knew. Um, does my daughter have any like, things on her that would make us think this? Probably not. She's a third eye. She's a little weird. Uh, are we paranoid? Ah, we're paranoid. Right there. That gives you random events that tell. Like sometimes, if you're not paranoid and you get that event, you need to worry. But if you're paranoid and you get that event, it just means that you're paranoid. It's just flavor text. I would like to offer peace and force demands. Cool. We'll head back over here now. That should be it done. We won the war. Clans want more land. We need to give one of these away. Uh, we'll give Jurg away. And we'll give it away to the same same people we were giving the previous one away to. Jurg. There we go. 
Now, what we want to do here is we want to switch on Looter Tag and when head to Tlom. I want to loot that. Although there is no looter bar there, we can still actually capture prisoners, which is uh, useful. None of these prisoners are worth any money. But if they are worth money, then we can uh, get it from them. Which is nice. I don't think this person actually... Yeah, you know, they, they don't have that much money to give. Uh, the influence of chaos is strong in the province of Mesh. The great portal is attracting everything towards it, and things seem to fall up rather than down. Okay, reverse gravity happened. Cool. Cool. Siege is almost done. It, they don't take too long. A daughter was born. Uh, she is a genius. An actual genius. Perfect. Child of a concubine. We'll keep her around. Hmm. We have an awful lot of children. They're, they're going to be really good for getting alliances if we want any alliances later. Uh, okay, see. So we got uh, 2.8 gold even though there was no looter bar there. Which is nice. And then we can siege down the next bit of it. Perfect. Oh, that's oh, that was a siege for our uh, vassal again, our vassal of the Cloud Warner again. Yep, war's over. Gorkin Clan. He did it again. He's really quite good at that. Um, I think that's all of the ones who are currently over at this side, and we can start kind of moving further in over here. Now the Jerjurites people. That you currently control, let's not do de jure, you control all of this. Now this might be a better subjugation because this was allow us to just take all the land, right? How many men do you have? How many men does your leash have? Okay, so we need to check every vassal. So 163, 1035, and your other one, zero. Okay, this seems like a good uh, war, and we get that much land, which definitely seems like a good idea. Let's go and head over there. My great martial ability, I've rounded up and executed the rubber bands that were plaguing somewhere. That's because we were bankrupt, that's why we got that thing there. Oh, we don't need looter tag on anymore, actually. That's fine. Uh, let her rot. Well, let's continue to let them rot. Ooh, we can get uh, money for this person. Ten gold. Perfect. I'll take the ten gold. Ten gold is very, very much worth it. Right. It takes us a long time to move over these mountain passes. Yeah, you become you realize that to become a great fighter, we need to get in better shape. There's a path in nearby woods that'd be excellent for running. Let's go running. Yeah, I think these mountain passes take a really long time. Your ability to take down any man in a brawl is wildly renowned. Many speak of your prowess and have been unwise to pick a fight with you. It feels good to be recognized. And the reason why we keep getting that is because we currently have the uh duelist trait. And that's the only thing you can get out of the war focus. Uh, apart from, you can get strategist as well. But I think it's a random chance which one you get. I think you get one or the other. What might be a good idea to do is switch into a different focus right now. Just so that we, um, we get a couple of different, uh, we get a couple of different options here. Maybe get a few more traits. And maybe switching into hunting focus. That gives us more health. Um, killing off Nurgle's creatures. I think they just changed it so that it was the realm's name. So it's like killing off X places creatures, so it's just like Nurgle's creatures. Yeah, they didn't change any of the others. So that yeah, that makes a lot I think that's what happened there. We'll go for we'll get the hunting focus. It also gives us more health, which I'm not sure actually gives us more health. I suspect that they might have done it by making health negative. So that you get you actually get Positive health, positive health is negative health, and health, negative health is positive health. That may be one way they did it, or they just made it so it does all the uh, traits don't actually lower your health. I don't know which way they did that, or they made it so those traits give you the opposite health. I don't know. It's it's all a bit random based on what implementation they went for. Uh, we want just sub, we want subjugation, right? Oh, we can't do a subjugation. Oh, they are Nurgleite. And I suppose actually it said uh, non-nomadic, didn't it? I think actually on the other thing. So we can do subordinations. Hmm. Which could work. It doesn't give us quite as much land. We could do invasion of Zud. Is that better than the subordination? Yes. Invasion of Zud gives us the most land so far. Invasion of Tomar gives us less. Invasion of Kura gives us a little bit less. Um, I think I want the invasion of Zud. Perfect. That's definitely what we want. I'll take that. Can't send. 
Oh, we need to have the manpower to do that one. So we'll do subordination of uh, Zavkar. I guess. Unless we want to take this land instead. Hmm. Yeah, it was a bit of a mistake. I, th I thought that we had a... Um, I thought it was subjugation we had, but it's actually... Subjugation worked on these people, but it actually works only on nomadics. On oh, non nomadics, sorry. Hmm. I don't know. Can we declare war on these people? We can declare war on those, so we can. We might as well declare war up here for the most land that we can get in one war. Um. That looks good. One, two. Difficult to tell all the rivers. One, two, three, four. Five. Five things there. And this one has one, two, three. Yeah, so Zafkran. Done. Just go straight to the capital. We will, of course, call in all of our allies to this war. They'll all honor their obligations, as they should. Um, is there any... I want to look at government type. Is there any non-nomadics here? Oh, war hit the war herd down here. We... Oh, that's not all one, though. I was thinking we can maybe take some of that. I don't know, it's probably going to be until we get down to this area before we're actually going to be able to take lots of land. Maybe Zarduk, uh, the Dwarven lands. That would be a good idea. Um, we also have a few extra retinue that we could get before we get down there, which would be nice. I'd like to have a lot of retinue. But we are currently a little bit low on money. We'll get it soon, though. We'll get it soon. We just need a lot of land and then a lot of people paying us taxes. That's what we're going for. We need to get into the uh, non-nomadic lands. We actually get people paying taxes because uh, nomads don't like to pay taxes. They're very much in the uh, that's a bad idea thing. Oh cool, we got rid of a smuggler's ring as well. We're also making more money because as we get rid of all the bankruptcy things. Um, oh, Tamara died of the dreaded plague. Oh, has the plague. That's not good. Um, that's not a positive sign that she could die of it, because that also means that we could die of it. When guests arrive, my ward Aaron is the first to meet them. Uh, Gregarious? No. No, we don't want Gregarious. Get rid of it. Oh, right. Does he have Gregarious now? Yes, so we want to do this child is annoying. Aha, we got rid of it. We are making the worst child possible. Uh, Dragon, your favourite warhorse, taking his last gallop across the steppe and has begun the eternal sleep. It is time to take your farewell of an old friend that has served you well. Goodbye. That also means we get a new warhorse. I shall choose one. Uh, we can, we shall have Sky. Sky seems like a good warhorse. Oh yeah, we could just blind our prisoners if we wanted. That's, a, that's an option. Um, I don't really want to, but we could. Almost taking the, this one here. Uh, my young... Aaron, my young ward, wants to know what it's all about. Why are we all here on Earth? So we can let it sort him out for himself, or we can make him a Nurgleite. And we want to make him a Nurgleite, uh, not only because that will make him not die from consumption, but because that means he now likes us better because we share a religion. Like, he doesn't hate us because we're a different religion. And it means that the clans are all the same religion, and everything's a bit uh, centered together. We can actually probably just let him go now. Um, we don't need you as our ward anymore. We're just going to... Uh, well, unless there are any concubines you have. We'll look at those first. And uh, nope, no concubines that look good there. Uh, we're just going to... I say we need to keep him in our guardianship till he becomes of age. Because otherwise he might switch back. Uh, we're just going to the capitals here. Um, by the way, just so that we... Because they're the only things that we can permanently siege. So we might as well just go there and get them first. I think we're going to go to his liege's capital, because I think those are the only ones that truly matter for war score. And those, so that's what we're going to do. Um, but we're going to do that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.